God, God, we're here in your holy name. Father, we ask that you take more of us and give us more of you. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the reason why we are here. Mm -hmm. Father, you say where your children are gathered, you are in their midst. Mm -hmm. Father, we can feel your presence right here. Mm -hmm. The basis of our unity, the basis of our union with one another, is all about you. Amen. Father, let your spirit take control of everything we are going to do here today. Amen. Our union with one another is the basis of our unity with one another. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, fill this place with your presence. Amen. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Amen. Enter our souls and make our hearts ready to follow you. Amen. Enter our souls and make our hearts your dwelling place. Amen. For where you dwell, there is perfect liberty. Amen. Your indwelling presence is all we need. Mm -hmm. With your indwelling presence, mm -hmm. we will look as if you are the one looking. Yes. With your indwelling presence, we will teach as if you are the one teaching. Yes. Yes. With your indwelling presence, we preach as if you are the one preaching. Yes. With your indwelling presence, yes. we will do everything here as if you are the one doing it. Yes. Lord Jesus Christ, enter our souls. Yes. Make our hearts your dwelling place. Yes. Establish your kingdom in our hearts. Yes. Kingdom of light. Yes. Kingdom of life. Yes. Kingdom of joy. Yes. Kingdom of peace. Yes. Kingdom of humility. Yes. Lord Jesus Christ, we are not strong in ourselves. Yes. We need more of you. Yes. Give us more of you. Yes. And take more of us. Yes. Father, carry us in the arms of your power. Amen. Strengthen our spirit by your spirit. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Amen. Spirit of the living God, come and take control. Amen. Fall afresh on us right yes. now. Amen. Change us into Christ's own image. Amen. We surrender and we commit ourselves to you. Yes. To remain an agent of truth. Yes. To remain agent of faithfulness. Yes. To remain agent of kindness. Yes. To remain agent of love. Yes. Lead us to love others. Yes. Lead us to wisdom. Yes. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Yes. You may take your seat. Yes, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, don't mind the English. <laughs> mind the spirit. Amen. 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 Yes. <laughs> Thank you, my fellow colleagues in the vineyard, evangelists, pastors, bishops, reverends, prophets, prophetess, apostles, greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Yes. There can be no greater occasion. There can be no greater occasion, more elating and more boasting than when we find ourselves 
in the midst of good nature, inform and inspire men and women of God, such as are, are in this gathering. I want you to know that our being here is not by power and might, but as it should be by divine will. Amen. God brought us here together for a purpose. Amen. To carry his gospel to the four corners of the earth. Amen. Amen. That is why we are here. Amen. No one is strong in himself. Yes. We all need one another. Amen. Yes. You need me, I need you. Amen. Amen. Where you are weak, I am strong. Amen. Where I am weak, you are strong. Amen. Success is a collection of relationships. Amen. No one can go it all alone. Amen. I want you to know that our union with Christ Jesus is the basis of our unity with one another. That is, there must be a mutual understanding of calling and destiny. Amen. For our various callings to be effective, there must be unity and love. Amen. We must have each other's best interests at heart. Nothing like selfishness, greed, or hypocrisy. Amen. You know our God. He is all-knowing. Hypocrisy, no matter how cleverly managed, it cannot be hidden from Jesus Christ. He knows all men. He knows the disposition of our hearts. Amen. That is why he cannot be manipulated. Amen. He gives his anointing to suitable people. Amen. 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 He gives his anointing to what suitable people. Anointing does not work through methods, machinery, or plans. It works through suitable men. The fact that you can preach, teach, quote the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, have eloquent speech does not mean you are suitable. Amen, amen. amen. To be suitable, you must honor Jesus Christ with your character. Amen. amen. Only your character can testify to your confession of Christ. Amen. I believe we are all men and women of God here. We are here to learn from one another's experience Amen. and move forward. Amen. 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 So I want you to know that in life, everything has theorem and practical. Your life is full of theorem and practical. Christianity has two sides. Theory and practical. For us to enter into the practical side of Christianity, we must be imitators of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me take you to the book of Philippians 5 verse 1. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children and work in love. Take note of that. Work in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. As imitators of God, we must be holy as he is holy. We must 
be perfect as he is perfect. We must be merciful as he is merciful. Amen. This puts a great honor upon practical Christianity. Amen. When you are an imitator of God, you resemble him in every grace, especially in his love and in his pardoning goodness. God's goodness, God's mercy, God's favor, God's healing, God's deliverance, God's salvation will continue towards you if you respond by loving God and by loving your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Through his love, we love. By his love, we are a new man. In his love, we have newness of life. There is nothing to compare to love. Love is richer than any mineral, warmer than any sun, and bigger than any universe. Amen. Our God is love. And those that live in love, live in God and God in them. Amen. So without love, our gathering here today is nothing. Love should be uppermost in our hearts if we want something from God. Amen. Love should not discuss sin. Love should not discuss about weaknesses. Love should discuss strength. Amen. 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 Love should add and multiply. Hallelujah. Amen. So, love should be uppermost in our hearts if we want something from God. Without love, our meeting here is in vain. I want you to know that we should not allow confrontation and sin to pull us apart. Rather, we should see it as a means of coming closer together going together and being prepared together for even greater relationships. Don't reject anyone on account of weakness. Amen. Amen. Because someone you see as a weak person today may be a strong person tomorrow. Amen. If you have this in mind, you will not compare yourself to others. Amen. You will not measure yourself by yourself. Because the way and manner God executes his plan in our lives differs. When God is executing his plan in our lives, he also designs and arranges events which will continue to unfold until his purpose is revealed. Everything in your life serves a purpose. So if anyone is up there and you are not there, that does not mean you cannot get there. You can get there, but God's time is the best. So as fellow colleagues in the vineyard, God's time is always the best. Amen. When it is God's time for his purpose to be made manifest in your life, Amen. there will be a kind of driving force that will change your actions and your location. Amen. Amen. Preach it, Papa. Peter's actions will change. Mm -hmm. From catching fish to catching men. Mm. His business location changed from the seaside to the town. Mm. <laughs> we all know Peter As a fisherman, he only saw himself as a fisherman. But unknown to him, he was pursuing God's goal for someone else. Amen, amen. He knew nothing but fishing. 
His ancestors were into it. So Peter grew up only in the formality of his religion. Unknown to him, he was pursuing God's goal for someone else. <laughs> but when he had an encounter with Jesus Christ, his life changed. Amen. As people of God, I want you to know that we are not religious people. We are Christians. Amen. 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 So Christianity is not religion. No. Christianity is a relationship with Jesus. Amen. Yes. When you have that relationship with Jesus Christ, mm. your life will change. Amen. Your thinking will change. Yeah. Your philosophy will change. Yeah. Everything about you will change. Yeah. That is why our lifetime must reflect our Father in heaven. Amen. Amen. As a man and woman of God, mm. I want you to know that you are a representative. People are looking up to you. Mm. Only your character can testify to your confession of Christ. Amen. Yes. Success with peace and comfort does not come as a result of human titles, mm -hmm. position, fame. All these are man's natural gift. Mm -hmm. Man's natural gift, we have it in abundance. A good example is long years of study. Go to theology school. But that cannot bring the supernatural gift. Amen. 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 The supernatural gift comes by grace. Amen. Human hands, human wisdom is not employed. Amen. This will help us. not to base our faith on humans, but on God. Amen. 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 This will now help us to base our faith on the wisdom of God, not on the wisdom of men. man for help. To get you out of your trouble, your pleasant situation, you are only postponing the evil day. Amen. Wow. Wow. Preach it, Papa. I mean, you are storing up future troubles for yourself. Wow. That is why whatever solution you receive does not last. Amen. If you allow whatever situation you are in to change your focus, you are finished. Because broken focus is the real reason men fail. Wow. I want you to know that yeah. as people of God, trials will come. Amen. Yeah. Tests will come. Amen. But you can never be known mm. <laughs> unless you are tested. Amen. Amen. Your genuine spiritual experience <coughs> must be tested in real situations. Amen. If you say, I'm a pastor, evangelist, a bishop, a prophet, all these are mere claims. Mm. Mm. Come on. Come on, Papa. Our Savior was tested. Yes. He passed his test. Yes. And anointing began to flow. Yes. Yes. So, 
as a man and woman of God, be ready for test. Amen. That test will announce you. Amen. Amen. I receive it. Your test will qualify you for a promotion. Your promotion will qualify you for a reward. Amen. And your reward will increase the flow of your joy. And Amen. 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 So, Jesus Christ was tested like any one of us, but was without sin. <coughs> Don't be afraid of this. <coughs> As a child of God, mm. don't be afraid of test. Amen. Everyone who walks by faith will have tested. They are not from God. They are from the adversary. Amen. Yeah. When Jesus Christ was being tested, he did not cry out because the answer is always in the word of God. Yeah. Amen. 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 So how you handle your test really matters. If you handle it well, it will turn to good. Mm -hmm. My fellow colleagues, mm. <coughs> I want you to know that in the face of trials, stay true to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In the face of difficulties, stay true to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Learning begins when there is a change in behavior. So. We are in a Christian home now. And the Christian home is the high school of learning whereby many truths are imbibed. I want you to know that however brilliant you may be, in this kingdom business, you will not be given double promotion. Mm. You must take every course. Each course serves a purpose. Amen. I don't know the nature of your trials, but I want to encourage you that your trials are the soil in which faith flourishes. Amen. No trials no growth in your spiritual life. Your genuine spiritual experience must be tested in real situations. Yes. If not, whatever title you bear, evangelist, bishop, pastor, prophet, prophetess, apostle, is a make claim. <coughs> Amen. 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 So it is obvious that you experience persecution, criticism, name calling, by friends, neighbors, and even family members. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ knew he would be accused. He knew he would be persecuted, yet he set up early to do his father's will, to experience a new level in life. So if you must experience a new level in life, be ready to go through a little discomfort to experience a new level in life. Amen. Don't leave trials out. Count it all joy. When you are calling, when you are persecuted for the sake of Christ. Amen. Look at our Savior. He did something he hated in order to achieve something he wanted. Wow. Something he loved. Wow. Amen. Amen. He did something he hated yes. just to achieve something he loved. 
He could have called angels to rescue him from being crucified. He was capable of coming down from the cross on earth. But the Bible says, he was ready to go through a little discomfort to experience a new level. Yes. Amen. He chose to go through a season of pain in order to experience an eternity of gain. Yep. If Jesus Christ had called angel to rescue him from being crucified, if he had come down from the cross on earth, today you and I will not be here. That's true. Amen. We are here today because focus was not broken. So, be focused. And your calling, be focused. Amen. Don't compare yourself to others. Amen. Don't measure yourself by yourself. Amen. The greatest thing that makes you one with a difference is for you to be content with what you have. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Amen. 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 Be content with what you have. Amen. You can be an evangelist and you make a difference in your world. Amen. You can be a pastor and you make a difference in your world. Amen. You can be a prophet and you make a difference in your world. It all depends on how you arrange your life. If you arrange your life well, that is, work according to the will of God, you make a difference in your world. You astonish yourself. God wants you to be one with a difference. So my fellow colleagues, I'm not here to preach, but I'm here to advise you in my own small way. In this journey, I have learned a lot. If you must attain that height, make sure that your mind must be disciplined to become your servant, not your master. Yes. Amen. Because you cannot get spiritual results with your natural human faith. Human point of view is limited and cannot understand God. To get it right, your mind must be spiritual so that it can be at its best for God. <clears throat> if your mind is not spiritual, Satan will seize the opportunity to capture it and colonize it. You will be a pastor yet controlled by satanic devices. Mm. You will be a bishop, yet controlled by satanic devices. Mm. You will be a prophet, yet controlled by satanic devices. Mm. To avoid this, don't compare yourself to others. Yes. Don't, measure by, don't measure yourself by yourself. <coughs> be content with what you have. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 So, I'm your brother. Mm. We are people of the same kingdom. Amen. Yes, my man. So, color is not the issue. Amen. Amen. We shall be judged not by the color. Amen. <laughs> Not by the height, because I, as I'm shocked now like this, I'll be a tall. And I'm still taller than some people. Yes. 
that. We shall not be judged by that. We shall be judged by the content of our character. So we have to modify our character. Amen. Amen. To make us suitable. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. God bless. Amen. So without taking much time, mm -hmm. I know you want to know more about John Chi. <laughs> so John Chi you see here. <laughs> wow. Amen. 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 So, I really want to thank God for making me what I am today. Amen. Because when I have to refer back to my roots, you will only see an uneducated person standing here before you. Amen. 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 So, John Chi never went to school. I went to primary school, but I did not go to secondary school. From there, I dropped out and started learning motor electrician. I could not finish motor electrician. I became a houseboy. From houseboy, that's how God's grace came upon me. Amen. And someone led me to Nigeria for the first time. It was in the Synagogue Church of All Nations I became converted. Amen. I was never a Christian. But the day I met Prophet Tibi Joshua, my life changed. Amen. Amen. So since then, I started growing <coughs> under his canopy. From there, evangelist. There I became the head of the prayer warrior. I think I have some of my brothers here, they know they, they yes. we were together, all of them. And I became the head of the prayer warriors. The grace increased mm. to a wise man, <coughs> and from wise man, apostle of God. Amen. Amen. So life is in stages. So we, we, we need to grow. You can't remain stagnant. You must grow. Amen. 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 So today, I give thanks to God for using Prophet Timothy Joshua to make me what I am today. Amen. 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 So, these are my roots. So, when you look at the life of Jesus, he has roots. Every man of God has roots. Amen. You have roots. Amen. So, Today we are here together. It is the Lord's doing. It Amen. is marvelous in my life. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So everything about John Chi has been revelation, revelation, revelation. Before going to Nigeria, when I was not yet a Christian, I saw a gathering, I said, let me just go there and see what they are doing there. <laughs> For the first time, so the man of God was preaching. He pointed at me and said, can I talk to you? I said, talk to who? Me? <laughs> he said, you are a believer. Then I never knew what believer was all about. <laughs> he said, I see you great. You will be known all over the world. Mm. You will preach the gospel and you will, be known, you will be going from one country to another. Hallelujah. I said, this man, if they tell him that I'm a houseboy, he will not believe me. <laughs> <laughs> then I was half.
house boy. So I had to sneak out of the place and ran. Because I knew he was lying. But today, I'm so glory. Amen. From Cameroon to America. Amen. For the sake of the gospel of God. Thank you, thank you. So, these are my roots. Amen. I'm your brother. Hallelujah. We are people of one kingdom. Amen. Amen. So, let's do things in love. Amen. Amen. I believe that you have something that I don't have. Mm. And I have something that you don't have. Amen. Amen. Together, we can move the mountain. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Say something. No, pastor, to say something. You know, after period, it's my English. So weak. Uh, we're very thankful for Apostle John Chi for visiting America. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, with my house, uh, we know him from before because my children were also in the same school where he was in. <laughs> Spiritual school. And when I visited my children there, I was, uh, I felt so, uh, like, not sorry, but I missed that my children were there. No, not, not even, because school was so severe. Uh, well, I felt bad for my children that they were there. <laughs> He's talking about the school to Joshua Church. Because the school was so uh, severe, strong. If you just one mistake, Sleep somewhere, somewhere outside. <laughs> yeah, if you uh, make one mistake, you sleep outside. <laughs> and Apostle John Chi passed through all of that. <laughs> and he went through his test, his trials. Brothers and sisters, we in this small village of the church looked for God's blessing so that God would be with us. Uh, brothers and sisters, in this small village, we were looking for God's favor toward us. But we knew one truth. Before you can split the rivers of Jordan, waters, waters of Jordan, you have to find a person on whom to pour the water on his hands, mm. the man of God. And we were looking who can stretch his hands that we can pour water into their hands. Which man of God? And and you know, as may, mighty men of God, you know, many times that God raises them up, and you can't reach them, and you, they're not accessible. And uh, we knew about John Chi. And we knew that he's just beginning his ministry, his own ministry in Cameroon. We tried to find him. We knew that he's God's man. But he's just beginning. And he also needs water on his hands. And we live in America. Uh, we, we, don't, we, we may not have a lot of that water. But we have the water. We know what that water is. We <laughs> And we were looking on whose hands to bring that water, to bring that blessing. Because the, who, on who you pour the, the water into hands, eventually that mantle begins to come upon your life. And then you begin to separate the Jordans and the rivers of your life.
And the pastor visited uh, this man of God. Uh, he was just beginning to build a building. They're, they're still continuing that project. Uh, it's a very unique for us as Americans. You know, just the walls, no, uh, no windows, no doors, uh, no, uh, no finish, no shidra. You know, a roof that's made out of metal. And tons of people. Church is not even built it, and it's already overflowing. Hallelujah! When I visited there. We were not expecting that the man of God will come to America. And so, when our pastor went there, he, they collected as much uh, resources, funds as we could, not to bring him to America, but just to help that small ministry that will begin, they will rise up, and so as much water as we found, Pastor took that and brought to his ministry. And so we bought the, the whole sound system and the video equipment for the whole church. Amen. And we also bought a van for the church. And so and we were just sowing into that ministry that's just beginning. And but we actually didn't even anticipate uh, that he will eventually be able to come to America. <coughs> and uh, I guess as a thank you, he gave an agreement to come and visit us. <laughs> And just lead us in a song. Let's sing together.
raise it, raise it, raise it. Open the door of your heart. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Rakai Javili. Rakai Javili.
She's the first one. She's the first one to go to the prayer line. <laughs> Mighty of Jesus Christ. Heal me from cancer. Heal me from cancer. Where is Jackson and George? So it's, it's because of what I'm seeing, okay? What I'm seeing. And uh, there's one mama there. Okay, they should give her a seat. They should give her a seat. The, the father, they, they don't give us, they give him a seat, I mean. Let him sit down. Mighty 
Oh, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is that my Bible on the floor? No. What's this? In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The might of Jesus Christ. The might of Jesus Christ. The might of Jesus Christ. You say what? You say what? The mighty of Jesus Christ. The mighty of Jesus Christ. Mighty of Jesus Christ. 